What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life, and today we're going to have to shout out the good folks over at New. They sent over one of their new devices for your boy to check out. Today, what we got on deck is the B30G. Now, New is a budget-friendly company that sell Android devices, so I really can't wait to unbox this because y'all know I'm all about that affordable price, saving some money, and just that all-around inclusivity when it comes to tech. Everything don't have to be expensive. Let me share a little something with you guys. I know a lot of us have a ton of subscriptions. I have a ton of subscriptions. You have a ton of subscriptions. And we want to cut down on them. But it's hard to cut down on them because we might miss out on the game, our favorite show, or getting our packages super fast. So maybe instead of doing that, actually save on a service instead of having to cut services out. This is why I'm very interested in Mint Mobile. And this channel for this video is partnered with Mint Mobile because they offer premium wireless service for 15 bucks a month. Mint Mobile offers high speed data, unlimited talking text on the nation's largest 5G network. And we can even bring our current phone and our current phone number so we don't miss out on anything. It's super easy to sign up. Just go to the link in my description and you can actually have a eSIM from Mint Mobile today. So we're taking a look at the back and of course I'm blocking out the more sensitive information. But if you look at the spec, we got a 6.7 inch AMOLED 4 HD screen, 2.6 gigahertz octa-core processor, we got a 64 megapixel main shooter out back, a 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel macro. And the front facing camera is a 32 megapixel sensor. We got 8 gigs of RAM, 250 gigs of storage, and we also have a 5,000 milliamp battery. So, definitely some nice specs on a budget device. This may be like a budget flagship. So we open it up like so. This is what we're gonna be presented with. So if you take a look, we got the device in here, guys. We actually got a power adapter. Shout out to them for that. So all these other manufacturers of these expensive flagships, Samsung, Apple, Google, y'all can put the adapters back in the box again. First and foremost, power brick. Shout out to me for that. Type C to Type C charging cable. And here we had a device. Welcome to the family, new. As you can see, we got a three camera setup on the back. Kind of look a little iPhone-ish. It's a curved device. Now, as you can see, it's a black colorway, guys. But it's got like a little gradient to it. It's like a black gradient. And the edges match the device, as you can see down bottom. We got speaker, Type C port and black frame rail. Left side of the device is clean. Just a nice black frame going on. And on this side of the device, you got your power button and you got your volume rocker. So a nice, clean, curved display device going on here. Okay, YouTube, so after utilizing and getting to know the new B30 for a little while, this is a B30, this is not the Pro, this is a 5G. GSM device, so if you're looking at this device, make sure you check out what carriers are available because it's more so like the T-Mobile type GSM carriers, but this device actually really honestly has the flagship feel. I like a device with a nice big display, and this device has got that. The display looks nice, it's 120 hertz, nice curved display. Not a crazy curve on it, but just enough of a curve to make it like look cinematic. Just a really good fluid display with that 120 hertz. All the colors look vibrant. This is like the perfect device for watching content and things of that nature. Again, iPhone 16 don't even have 120 hertz on a display, so that's just one of the ways this device really, at this price point, under 300 bucks, give off a flagship feel. At the same time, the processor, the Dimensity 750 in this device, guys, is definitely a processor that holds its own. Like in everyday things that you would do on a smartphone, it can definitely handle those with ease. And definitely some light gaming 
with ease. So you don't feel anything. You don't feel like you're using a budget device, honestly, on the new B30 because you got 8 gigs of RAM. You got a Dimensity 750, which actually moves you around the device. The device is actually really fluid using the UI, going in and out of apps. The processor is good enough to operate the device in a way that's desirable to somebody that wants a smooth device. But this would be the perfect device for somebody that just wants to game a little bit and do things like text, browse the internet, and scroll, especially with that 120 hertz. Now this device does have a triple camera setup, and what I see from early impressions, guys, you can take some decent pictures with this device. Now when I say decent, you can look at them, they look okay, you know what you're looking at. I'm not gonna, you know, compare this to any flagship pictures or anything of that nature. It's a budget device, taking pictures now this device has a triple camera setup guys and the main sense is actually 64 megapixels but i will say at this point it's a budget device guys when it comes to the cameras you get in a picture and i mean you could take a picture and it look fairly okay but like that's about it i'm not going to drag it on and make it seem like it's something it's not also something i find pretty interesting about this phone for this price point under 300 bucks it's got an under display fingerprint scanner that's something that also gives that flagship feel and it works pretty decent so that's definitely very dope for somebody that's spending this price point on a device to have some futuristic thing like an under display fingerprint scanner, which is famous on the Google the, uh, flagships and the Samsung flagship. But definitely, if you're somebody that's looking for a budget device at like a under $300, $260 price point, this device right here, and you want that flagship, you got the flagship look. Um, you got a decent processor that works well. Um, the camera, not too much to speak on that. Under display fingerprint scanner. The new Mobile B30 is definitely a device that gives you that flagship feel for that budget budget. So, I shout out to y'all that's watching. Shout out to New for sending this out. Let me check this out. It's your boy BG Tech Life. I'll put a link down in the description. I'm out. Peace.